Welcome in my video. My name is Muriel and I will be touching on this. Is Costa Rica expensive? I believe it has to do with two important things. Which countries you compare Costa Rica with and what do you have in your bank account? So before I dive into details about how to work around this topic and some, some things that might inspire you that I have to share about it, um, if you stick to my video to the end, you will walk away knowing exactly how you can move to Costa Rica, uh, create the life on your terms, uh, by your design, earning basically what you need to live a fabulous life in Costa Rica. That's what I have done, that's what I'm doing. So before I dive into the details, I wanted to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that before. You can do that by clicking the bell icon that you see here somewhere on the screen or go to the description under my video and uh, tap that and then yeah, you, you will, will be able to learn more about all the things that I will be sharing in the future about the things that I'm learning as an expat living in Costa Rica. Uh, a little bit about myself, I moved here in 2018 with my husband Dirk and the two children, uh, Sam and Nick, who were that time 14 and eight. So kind of challenging, but also the most exciting adventure that we ever took. And yeah, a lot of people who are thinking about moving to Costa Rica right now are are looking around, are, are hearing uh, many ideas about Costa Rica, right? Like, and especially, is Costa Rica expensive? Um, if you compare it, so that's fact number one, um, to see it that way, um, if you compare it with uh, surrounding countries such as Nicaragua and Panama, but also if you look at Cuba, uh, and all, uh, basically and Belize, all surrounding countries uh, in the area, there are cheaper than Costa Rica. But what is cheap and what is expensive, I believe that it is a value based uh, on what you have in your bank account, right? If you do not have to look at any colonna that you are spending or any dollar, because we have these two coins right here, then what is expensive and what is cheap, right? Um, water is gold here in Costa Rica. If you have plenty of water like we do in the Netherlands, we do not really pay attention how we uh, flood the toilet because we actually did that in the Netherlands with drinking water. Here in Costa Rica, we all know how important water is and that's pretty much the gold of Costa Rica. So what is expensive and what is cheap? Well, I can give you a couple of examples uh, why m a lot of people based their values on that Costa Rica is expensive because they compare it with the country that they c come from, right? If you compare it to the United States or even a lot of countries in, in Europe, yeah, it's basically or the same price or higher depending on where you are in Costa Rica. Uh, for example, on the peninsula, the Nicoya, where we are, we live kind of remotely. It takes way longer for trucks to bring supplies to supermarkets, uh, medication and things like that. And things are in general pricier that way. If you go to um, a restaurant uh, in San Jose uh, and you go to a local Tico restaurant, you pay, I bet, almost half to one third of the price that you would pay here at the Peninsula de Nicoya. But again, it has to do with the location, right? Um, I know a lot of people who don't believe that Costa Rica is expensive, including myself. I don't experience it that way. For example, you know, business owners who have like growing and epic businesses running here or somewhere else and live a beautiful life in Costa Rica. They, people, there's also people who are retired, who have a beautiful re retirement check every month, who don't think Costa Rica is expensive because they have plenty or enough to to live a life right and to to contribute to everything that they want to do and what they need here in Costa Rica so yeah when people come and they have backpacks in Southeast Asia for example for all the little flies I need to just wave them goodbye sometimes uh, if you have backpacked in Southeast Asia which I've done myself like 20 more than 20 years ago you will see that there it's way cheaper compared to here. The prices are in general one tenth of what I was used to in the Netherlands, in Asia. But here in Costa Rica, the prices are the same or double or sometimes even three times more expensive. 
depending on where you are like you know in a remote corner of the country it's way more expensive so I believe that if you want to move and live in Costa Rica it's really important that you know how to generate the income that you need and way more than you need because I think then you create uh, the, the freedom uh, to have a life uh, by your design right you do not have to stay in a tiny little house that's dirty and that's crappy and that's leaking water of course you can move to Costa Rica on a tiny budget because I know plenty of people who are super happy and this is also not a, a pointing with my finger to people who do not have a flourishing business uh, who do not want to work online who are just fine with what they have <sighs> this, <laughs> this is funny <laughs> This video is not for you. I'm speaking to you if you're looking into moving to Costa Rica, but you will feel that people are frightening you, telling you that Costa Rica is expensive. Well, I believe and I'm assured that you can make whatever you want and need to live a fabulous life if you know how to work online and leverage the internet. There are so many uh, locations. I'm gonna just walk, hold on. Seriously, like three flies landed in my eye here. I'm gonna move a little bit around. So basically, if you know how to navigate on the internet, right? If you know how you can create an income based on your passions, right? For example, I wrote an ebook, my passion, and what I've learned so far, seven steps to move to Costa Rica. I generated income with it, I still do, but uh, people buy it because they're interested in it. Now, perhaps you are, you have a hobby like old timers, you know a lot about old cars and it's your hobby to repair them. Why don't you just create an ebook about it and sell it online? And if you know exactly how to do it without pitching friends and family and talking to random strangers, you will be surprised how much a simple ebook can pay you, right? But that's just one tiny way of how you can create. Um, an independent uh, income online as entrepreneur working online uh, basically that's one of the things that we do we have our own products we have our own services but in a nutshell the most profitable uh, it's a billionaire industry it's called affiliate marketing if you are totally not up to creating your own product or service you can do what we do too and that's selling offering other people's created offers or programs right big companies they create training courses hard products digital products there it's it's for a reason a billion dollar industry and especially today right where everyone is going online where the quarantine is still not over where there's viruses and perhaps in the future more viruses will come you have your home space and your internet connection meaning that you have your office and your income stream and if you look at it that way how do you think now about just assuming that you can, can make easily ten thousand dollars per month online how expensive is costa rica for you if you just you know if you're if you have specific life standards that you can just afford you know i know plenty of people who, who make 30 50 60 grand online per month doing the same as we do right so what is stopping you that is actually my mission of this video to get you out of your comfort zone and again if like if this is a painful subject and if you're not up to making money don't watch my video it's fine I'm just here to inspire you about many different and and I want to to um, to highlight many different angles according to the topic Costa Rica and one of the angles is the income angle right like of course you can move to Costa Rica everyone can move to Costa Rica but if you if you have no funds in the bank yeah, Costa Rica will be very, very expensive for you. Um, you have to contribute to life. You have to pay your bills. You have Costa Rica, you need to get your groceries, right? Your kids need to go to school if they do it online or offline. You need to pay the bills. So yeah, if you are open to learn um, to navigate on the internet and, and basically do what we do, then I can just explaining more about strategies that we apply like affiliate marketing is one of the things we do. We have our own products and services. I'm also life coaching, I do. But this is about you. I want you to think about what you're good at, what you're passionate about. But also if you are, if you are uh, learnable and if someone could explain to you, would explain to you exactly what to do step by step to be a successful affiliate marketer, 
selling other people's products and services high ticket or without chasing friends and family? The question is, would that interest you? Would that open up perspectives for you to be able to move to Costa Rica and not finding it exp an expensive country? Of course, when you compare Costa Rica to Nicaragua and Panama, the two countries it's in between, yeah, Costa Rica is expensive. Um, if you compare Costa Rica with where you're coming from and it, a, a bread was cheaper there, yeah, Costa Rica is expensive. But still, I believe that you, if you are responsible for yourself and you open up your mind to the possibilities of today, you know, nothing is stopping you to make as much as you want online, right? You can learn and grow while you go. That's always what I say. So you can learn and do and generate an income. And this is not a sales pitch. This is just, I'm pushing you out of your comfort zone right now. Because if you are like sitting like this, watching my video with fists like this, you are not ready to, to generate an income or probably you're not even thinking about moving to Costa Rica. And you know, I'm super happy for retirees who have their income uh, solid. But I also know that a lot of retirees don't have really enough to live the life on their terms, you know, the life by design in Costa Rica that they would rather live, they have like a minimum income. And also for these people uh, learning how to work online and start affiliate marketing, uh, learning how that works. I know plenty of um, people from 65 and up who are successful affiliate marketers. So don't put yourself in the corner of, yeah, I'm too old, I'm not techy, I'm not techy either. And you know, I'm not saying I'm old, but I'm also not 18 anymore. I wasn't born with a laptop on my lap, but I had a big dream how to move to Costa Rica. And um, when I started to read about it, I saw uh, articles written about the topic, you know, is Costa Rica expensive or how expensive Costa Rica was. And then I thought, come on, what the heck? I work online anyways. So let's make just enough to you know, our daughter can horseback ride, we have two dogs, they need to be fed. Uh, we are a family of four. Families of four need more <laughs> than a family of one, right? So where does that money come from? Well, it doesn't drop from the sky here, but it, by my laptop is my ATM. My laptop and my smartphone and my internet connection. So basically, if you have a big dream and you want to move to Costa Rica and you wonder, is Costa Rica expensive? Look into your bank account. Is there enough or not? If there's not enough, it's worth it to go ahead and click the very first link in the description below. Learn more, follow the steps, learn the concept of online marketing and be handholded by um, a mentor because there's an orientation uh, program there offered. Just go ahead and go through it. I went through it and see where I live. And you know probably that I work online and I also make profits by creating videos. You can learn how to do that too, but that's not for my video now. I'm just helping you out here to see, to get ideas, how Costa Rica can be cheap <laughs> compared to what you're used to. I don't know, but create your own economy and that solves everything. And that makes Costa Rica not expensive. So let me know if my video was helpful. It was a different type of video that you were used to, but hey, why not, right? It's my channel and you can only have to watch it if you want to. Um, thanks again for watching my video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you haven't done it, click the icon on the screen, do it. Scroll below and read a little bit more in the description because I share uh, my ebook, uh, how you can order it. I share a one-on-one -on -one call service, but also uh, how you can subscribe, but also how you can learn to generate profits online even, and also especially from Costa Rica, off-grid, wherever, as long as you have an internet connection. What are you waiting for? It's awesome, Pura Vida, I'm looking for new neighbors. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs>